All right, guys, we're back. That was a long, uh, you know, three minute break. So we have a beer that Scott brought over. All these Scott brought over, actually. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. Yep. This is uh, this is pulp from Civil Society, which is a local. Uh, where, where are they at? Jupiter, Jupiter Florida. Jupiter, Florida. What? An hour from here. Yep. I'm really killing the pores today, so we'll have to split this. I'll pour my own. You know what I'm going to pour that for you? <laughs> Here's Scott. Hold up your beer. <laughs> hey, I, like a Here's little, I like a little foam on the top, okay? I like it to aerate. Actually, I saw something that was a... Here, that I still got. <laughs> you pour mine while I pour yours. Somewhere between 68 and 70. The poor soaker. 68 and 70. I'm glad you got the reference. <laughs> so, we're just talking about these cans. Very simple cans. Um, this, this is probably the cheapest way you can put out a cool can. Yeah, Civil Society is, um, I think it's, it's really known as being one of the, the hot up and comers. They're only two years old. Um, yeah, I mean, the, they, the, they don't the, the can has a very cool label and on an on a otherwise un virgin can with a very cool label. Yeah. Very simple, cool label. Now, did you get these at the store or at Civil Society? They, as far as I know, you can only buy in the brewery, uh, in, in Abacos of Jupiter, um, because Abacos Town Center. A lot of places now, I've noticed, have their own one-off canning. Yeah, so they're can canning these on-site. But oh, like, like crowlers? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So they have, yeah, they also have crowlers. They don't sell a, a growler filled. How many um how many ounces is a growler? I think it's thirty two. Dude, I don't know if I showed you sent you guys a picture. Have you seen the Dale's tall cans? The nineteen point two ounce double tall cans? Is that the ten fifty in the bit? No, Dale's Dead D Dale's. Oh no, I haven't seen that. So these are sixteen ounces. Dale's has you can get Dale's pale ale and a nineteen point two ounce can. So it's I mean, it's like well like this is you see this like seamed on the bottom? Yep. It's like that, but like another inch. <laughs> I have a picture of one, I'll put it up now. A tall, tall boy. It's a it's a super tall tall. It's like a day, yeah. It's like a corn husker. Yeah, so they they're known for being um, one of the up and comers. Um, as far as I know you can only buy on site as in, in in cans. Um, they do have some distribution for kegged or you know beers on tap. I've seen it in. Or you can buy like a quarter keg or something. Like that. Well, I've seen it. I've seen it on tap in New York City uh, on a business trip. I went to New York City. Really? And saw it on tap in New York City. Oh I was wow! Really, really impressed to see that. Um, so they do have. Yeah, that's gotta be like a friend of a friend, right? Like to get that kind of. I'm not sure how. I was really surprised. I like. I didn't want to try it because I was in New York and I wanted to try something new, but I went with it because I knew it's great. So I I really would like to get on the channel a distributor. I was actually at Total and I was looking for something and there was a guy there and I could tell he was a vendor and I'm looking and I'm like, he's like, what are you looking for? And I'm like, ah, uh, and I, I forget what I was looking for. And um, I'm like, do you work here? And he's like, no, I'm a vendor. We just stock the shelves. And um, I forget who he said he worked for, but they carried a bunch of new brands, inclu including Lord Hobo. Have you seen the Lord, Lord Hobo? Lord Hobo. They make a really good coffee stout. Do they? Was it, which Co one? Coffee, no, I mean, it's a coffee IPA. Make a coffee, good coffee IPA. Like yeah, uh, Green Box. Flash makes... Hot, Hot Box is Oscar Blues. Yeah, they had a fish be jumping. They had a uh, they had I think Hot Box this year was a coffee was oh, a coffee IPA. Or was that last year? I don't know. The Hot Box I just reviewed was a coffee stout or porter. And I, I had think, it for breakfast. I think I think last year then was was a uh, was a coffee IPA. It's it's a really cool. unique it's a really unique beer because it's something you don't associate with an IPA. Or at least I don't. Green Flasher. Uh, uh, Acelium or one of those. Green Man? Not Green Man. I think it was Green Flash had a coffee IPA. And it looks like this. Well, look, it's a little clearer than this. But it has a coffee flavor. And it was it was good. It was real good. Actually, the coffee flavor is really um, strong and earthy without being, without tasting like dark coffee. It's weird. Hmm. It's, it like just... It extracts just a certain like cross section of the coffee flavor almost. So what do you get? This is an Ameri uh, American wheat ale. It's American wheat ale. What do you get? What do you get for smell? 
Oranges. He might be a little worn out at this point. This is uh, 6.3% ABV. So it smells. I get a. Uh, this might have some citra hops in it. Oh, it, it. It tastes like it. Citra hops also has a hair of soapiness to it. Mm. Yeah, you know, like it almost tastes like the cup. The cup wasn't rinsed well, but it's just the citra hops. Almost like cilantro. Some people get the soapy flavor from I've, cilantro. I've heard, I've heard that. I, I don't. I don't. I, don't so I love myself. cilantro. You like cilantro? I more the, cilantro? More the better, in my opinion. I, does anyone do a cilantro beer? Like a cilantro if, if lime to, goes. If I had to guess, it would be it would be uh, dogfish. Dogfish, yeah. I can see dogfish. Sequench, that. isn't that cilantro or something? That's not cilantro. That's um, I've had that before. That's pretty good. Salt, lime. I think black pepper. I think it's salt, lime, coriander. Black. Coriander, maybe that's it. So that any goes, any go goes or goes. I'm not sure, but any, the coriander and sea salt are the two things that make a, a goes a goes. Yeah. Now, what's coriander a seed for? Isn't that a seed for a cilantro? Oh, know. really? I had no idea. I use coriander. I'm not sure. I, I use coriander like when I cook uh, fish. I wish we had Alexa. We could ask her real quick. Like when I cook like salmon, I do coriander and dill. So you get the little slight brightness from the coriander, and the uh, it has a slight citrusy flavor, and then the dill. So it's like a good. It's like it's kind of like. Uh, Citrusy and savory all together. It's like dill and dough. <laughs> Isn't that how you make pickle bread? Dilly dilly. <laughs> With dildo? <laughs> <laughs> pickle bread. I'm pretty sure that's how you make pickle bread. <laughs> dildo. Yeah. That's a new one on me. <laughs> or not on me, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> In you. <laughs> I'm good. Well, I don't know. I've seen some Polaroids, Dave. <laughs> oh. Polaroid, wow. Oh, one of those that's how long ago it started. Adrian's nailing it. Coriander seed of cilantro is the first Google result. Coriander is a seed of cilantro. Wow. Holy so, shit. Yeah. Oh, I got learned and, today. <laughs> All and, right. And we thought Dave was the man of uh, unnecessary knowledge. <laughs> yeah. I got unnecessary <laughs> knowledge right here. Thank you. I relinquished my crown. <laughs> Cheers to that. <laughs> wow. I'm going to have to blow some people's mind later. I'm going to not credit you. <laughs> You're gonna blow what? I'm gonna blow some people's mind oh, with my, uh, my 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 newfound useless fact. Nice. Man, it is nice out. Yeah. Well, I said it's hazy, but it's not. Uh, next episode, we'll do this underway, right? You know what we need to do? We need to get pick some scorpion peppers and uh, bring out the. The uh, pepper beers. I've got a couple of pepper beers that we would good, do good. So, yeah. uh, so Frutalica by Stone, which is really good. It's got a nice heat to it. And there's a, uh, a on the darker side, a um, Clown Shoes in Fuego, I believe, that does a. Uh, so have you tried um, jalapeno? I believe it's jalapeno. Have you tried the baked the goods, the gooey baked goods, or whatever they have from Clown Shoes? No. I keep seeing it at Total, and like I already have my cart full, and I'm like, uh, next time. Next time. Yeah, I got, a, I got a list of next time beers. Yeah, uh, yeah. But um, so I have this chocolate at home that I've been waiting. I need to I need to eat it on like a Friday in case like I have a bad episode on a Saturday. Like I'll be at home because I'm not sure. Like I want to go to work after eating the hottest is it chocolate in the world. Is it one of those uh, chocolates that my neighbor likes to make? No, this is just hot chocolate. Oh. This, this, the squares are like like. A quarter inch by quarter inch squares that you break off. So the guy that made it only got through like three squares. What did they put in it? I I don't know. Pure capsaicin. I don't. I think it's got ghost peppers in it. So I mean, I've done that before. Yeah, ghost peppers. In my sleep. Go pick one off yeah. the plant. Right <laughs> Literally. Now. Should we go pick one? Wash it down with some American. I don't know if I got any red ones on there. I was. I didn't see any when I was. I put a new. Man, I must be thirsty there. today, Adrian. So we went to lunch earlier, Scott. And I was like, Adrian had like three sips out of his beer, and she's like, "You want another one?" And I'm like, "Yeah, sure." Yeah. Usually, usually Adrian's uh, tipping, tipping the, uh, tipping the first one back by the time I'm, I'm uh, taking the first or second sip. Yeah, I don't know. All right, so what else about the beer? Anything? Well, you don't have much to talk about. Yeah, I'm good. You're empty. Six point three percent. I think it was sixty IBU. 
I'd say that's about accurate. Yeah, I'd say a 60 is pretty, uh... It's more pale ale-ish than American wheat ale yeah, I'm getting out of it. I, I was just going to say the it's same thing. It's a pale wheat ale, so yeah. Actually, there's no IBUs listed, but I would say it's I would say it's 55, 60 if I had a guess. I'm going to guess $1. Huh? Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Wrong game. Wrong game. <laughs> You're going with the one IBU. One like, IBU. One, one IBU different. <laughs> yeah, I, this is good. This is another beer that would probably good, go good with the paddle boarding. This is, yeah. Although this is a little heavy. You might want to leave this heavy detail on, on the way the way back. We'll give it yeah, to when the you girls. got the motor kicking. Yeah. <laughs> or what? Give it to the girls. We we'll traded it for the girls, right? <laughs> traded for trade the girls? For the or to the girls? Trade it for yeah. what? <laughs> hey, it's, all, uh, it's a trade. It's only a couple days from Fat Tuesday. Tatanka. Oh. Good trade, good trade. <laughs> no, sure. you, you got, and they got nothing? No. no. Dancing with Wolves? No. no. No, I didn't see that or Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> Liar.